calling all masters. I'm Lorne Gaming, and this is your Master Scattering Report for the Servant Rank of Quest Part 1 and a new banner featuring the three knights and the four cavalries plus extra. Now for the straightening quest, if we were to compare ourselves to Japan's release of Fake Grand Order, we're actually getting these two months in advance. So it looks like what they're trying to do is getting us the straightening quest faster during like the, the times between events, because we are going to have another event right after Valentine's. It happens super fast for Japan, it's the Karno Kyokai. But releasing these quests when they are really does show their dedication towards actually trying to catch up to Japan in terms of Fake Grand Order. That might not happen for a year and a half, but I can definitely see it happening. But anyway, the way these straightening events work is starting on February 1st, every day for the next 7 days, a new quest will unlock in Caldea Gate for a specific servant. Completing the quest will upgrade that servant's skill, or give them a new one. And remember, the quest will only be available if you had that servant max ascended. I will now name the servant quest in order of release, along with their skill upgrades or new skills. First up we have Spartacus, who will receive an upgrade on his self HP regen skill. Then we have Eric Bloodaxe, who will receive an improvement on his defense reduction on his support magic skill. And following that we have Sanson's quest, which will add a debuff removal effect to his medical technique skill. Then we have Benke, who will receive a new skill, Blank Description List, which has a chance to prevent all enemies from using their Noble Phantasm for one turn. Next up will be Leonidas, who will also receive a new skill, Warrior's War Cry, which increases party's buster performance for three turns. Then we'll have Bodica's quest, giving her the new skill Andraste's Divine Protection, increasing party's arts performance for three turns. And finally, on the seventh day, St. Martha's quest will be released. Completion will upgrade the recovery effect of her miracle skill. And again, you cannot do these quests unless you have these servants max ascended. But do remember, when a quest releases, it will be available permanently. This is just a way to spice up the release by dividing it into days. And oh yeah, completion will also give you a Saint Quartz, so it really does pay the max to send some of these lesser servants. Now, I don't know who's using these first six servants unless your luck is really bad, but Saint Martha's gonna be pretty good now. Okay, now time to talk about this crazy banner I'm just gonna call Scam Gotcha. Now this is a really weird banner and I don't really recommend rolling for it, but I will detail how it works. So it's called the Three Knights, Four Calvaries, and Extra Banner. And the way it works is that servants will be divided into two groups by class. The two groups are the Three Knights, featuring Saber, Lancer, and Archer servants, and the Four Calvaries plus Extra, featuring Rider, Assassin, Caster, Berserker, and ruler. There will be different pickup periods for the two groups which I have listed here in the video, but during the pickup period, only servants of those classes are summonable. So, for example, if it's a three knights pickup currently, you won't be able to get any rider, assassin, caster, berserker, or ruler servants. So if you're rolling for Jack the Ripper, don't roll in the three knights day. Actually, don't roll in this banner at all. Because let me just show you the two big servant pools you'll be rolling in. During the three knights periods, you'll be able to summon Ultra Pendragon, Altera, Mordred, Ultra Pendragon Altar, Nero Claudius, Siegfried, Chevalier Dion, Gaius Julius Caesar, Gilles de Rey, Fergus MacRoy, Orion, Nikola Tesla, Emia, Antalanta, Robin Hood, Uriel, David, Elizabeth Bathory, Ultra Pendragon Altar Lancer, Fia Macumhail, Ku Colin, Ku Colin Prototype, Romulus, Hector, Darmu. During the Four Calvary's next period, you'll be able to summon Francis Drake, Marie Antoinette, Martha, and Bonnie and Mary Reed. Medusa, Photica, Ushiwakimaru, Alexander, Vlad III, Heracles, Tom O'Cat, Lancelot, Frankenstein, Beowulf, Lu Bu, Darius III, Kiyohime, Jean d'Arc, Jack the Ripper, Seno, Carmilla, Shin Kei, Henry Jekyll and Hyde, Julian, Tama no Mei, Media Lily, Nursery Rhyme, Mephistopheles, Media, Ku Colin, Gilles de Rey, Paracelsus von Hohenheim, and Charles Babbage. That list was so long I could have made a Pokemon rap to make it more entertaining. But, that illustrates my point, guys. The pools are too big. If you're aiming to get a specific servant, you are more than likely not going to get them. Your 5-star servant rates are still 1%, and your 4-star servant rates are still 3%. So my advice to you is to not roll on this banner and wait for something else which features a specific servant you want, which is on radar. Like, for example, Sean Alter. So that concludes the video. It's not too substantial of an update. What we're doing is just waiting for the next event after Valentine's, the Karno Kyokai event. And it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a painful guide video to make, but I'm going to do it anyway. But I hope everyone's having fun with the remaining time we have left with the Valentine's event. 
And another Fate news, the first Fate Extra Last Encore episode premiered last weekend. Check it out if you want to. I did make a video review about it if you want to see that. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. Follow my Twitter if you want to stay updated on what I'm doing. And as always, I'm Lauren Gaming, and I'm signing out.